Good morning, everyone. It was it is January the thirty first, um, the last day of of the month of January two thousand twenty four. Um, this is a new video. Um, I'm going to be. I don't know where it's at. I don't know if it's a part of um, the uh, the downtown in. Um, in, in Jupiter or, or I, I don't know I don't know but um, I'm, I'm gonna take you guys there I don't know what it's called but once I get there I'll let you know, guys know what it is um, but I am going to show you on my way there um, how it looks it's beautiful me and my granddaughter went over there we went to go pick up pizza from over there so I said you know what I could take my vlog over here and show them um, uh, well you know so, so I could take take you guys over there and see you guys on my, you know, to show you what it looks like. It's really beautiful over there. Also, today, you guys, um, um, I'm going to be coming with you, um, you know, th I think this is like a saying. Well, this is what God said in his word. Um, but I never understood what it meant until I really started. I had to look it up and for me to understand it. Um, what does it say? This is one of the sayings that he says in his words. To fear him. Um, let me look at it. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. It says the way um, on how you fear the Lord. It's not like being terrified of him or or, or um, running from him. Or I, I was getting to like what you know when it was saying about um, fearing the Lord in the Bible. I, it was coming to me like at first like to be terrified of him to do what he's you know if you don't do it you whatever you don't um, say he says to whatever you don't do what he says to do you know be terrified of it or he's going to punish you but you know but once I started reading in the Bible and understanding his word so this is what it says okay it says um, by fearing the Lord, it means believing in Jesus Christ, acknowledging him as God, um, joyfully obeying him, and trusting him with all, all, all our lives um, completely. So that's what it means to fear the Lord. So once, you know, I even when I read the Bible, I'll put that like little, uh, the definition beside me when I'm reading the Bible. There's a lot of things that I look up in. And when I'm reading the Bible and I don't forget, but I want, I really, truly want to know what, you know, what his word is saying. So that's, you know, so that's like I told you, that's how I um, go about learning how to interpret his word and understanding what he is saying to, to us. But yeah, but that's, that's one of the, um, one of the sayings that he says in his Bible, you know, in his word to fear the Lord and the definition that I just gave you, you know, believing in Jesus Christ, acknowledging him as God, joyfully obeying him and trusting him with with our lives completely. So, yeah, that's what it means to fear the Lord. OK, so another thing today, you see, you guys, I took my hair out. Um, I don't know what those braids when I took them out, it was like some of my hair, a lot of my hair came out. And then my scalp was infected. And I'm like, what the heck is wrong with my hair? So what I had to do, I had to wash it and treat it. And like, it's, it's a whole thing. So I'm had to keep my hair out for a while. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to go back to the, I know I still got to go back to the dermatologist because also, I also stopped taking took taking that tritinoid because it turned my face like dark like over this area and then my eyes and then my face is darker than my whole body which it which it was not before I, I was taking the tritinoid so that messed me up so I'm just gonna go back to the dermatologist and also see about my scalp too because like I said when I took those braids out it's like my scalp has like, you know, like a cradle cap. You know how like when when babies have cradle cap and you try to scratch it out and it comes back. That's what it was. I don't know. It got infected with that hair. I don't know. It was a bad batch of hair or whatever um, when she did my braids. So I'm going to keep the braids out. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do like, um next but i do know that i'm going to just like treat my scalp and um and 
you know, treat my scalp and and see what's next, you know. But the thing is, it's, it's starting to get hot. It's gonna be hot today. It's kind of nippy out. So when we, so when I take you guys with me, I'm gonna have like like a little jacket. This is. I brought this when I was in, in Orlando, um, in Orlando with my daughter, and what I got is this, it's called, what is this called, I never heard of them, but it was at the, at the mall that my daughter works at, a little strip mall that she works at, it was like this place called the North Face, and I'm like, there was a long line, and I'm like, why is there a long line, so I say, you know what? Let me go in here. So when I went in there, it was like 75% off, 50% off. This is like around before Christmas. So I needed like, like a, you know, like something warm and stuff. Like thin. It's thin, but still kind of chunky, still kind of thick. Um, perfect for this weather, for Florida rather. For weather, for Florida's weather. Um, but yeah. This is what, and I like it, and I like the color and stuff. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be wearing this when I um, go out and stuff. And like I said, the sun is shining. It's beautiful. And when I get to where I'm going to get, um, I'll let you know where it's, I forgot the name of it. But it's just to take the ride over to where we're going to go is beautiful. So I will show you guys that too, okay? So I'll see you when I get there. So nice. Those, those, I don't know, they're like little, little houses. I don't know what they are. They're like little houses. You know what? This, for the vacation or something. But these are like little, little houses. The water. Water is so gorgeous. Love it. Love it and love it. It's a nice walk. What to, what a way to live, you know, to live on the water and to, to see this every day when you wake up in the morning. There's nothing like it. This is why I moved from Michigan, so I can live this life and move my kids here too. You know, because it was just me and my two kids that was here my son and my daughter and then you know the grandkids came after that so yeah so nice this water is so pretty and the boats to the boats over there dog and it had chili and coleslaw on it and then the bread was like it wasn't like a um it wasn't like a a hot dog bun it was like a it was like they grilled a um um bread and stuff like a french toast bread but it was good so so nice Love it. And you know what? This will help me lose my weight too. Uh, so I could get out and walk and stuff. Because I love walking on like on the strip and stuff. It's so beautiful. And you know, <laughs> this is my first time vlogging outside. So people are looking, but I don't care. They look at you anyway, even if you're not vlogging. Or you, they stare at you anyways. So I don't care. This water. Can we get into it? This water is gorgeous. And that beautiful bridge. I went over that bridge. That bridge take you over to... 
Come on. I'm going to take you over to. But I'll be back, you guys. This place is called Smoke Shop. I don't smoke no more. Quit like four years ago. Kurt's Dive Shop. Oh, wow. It's nice here, you guys. Nice little walk. Oh, this is a bar and a hotel. Just in Beach Inn. Okay. It gets busy here. You see all these cars? Oh my god. Busy, busy. Pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, hello. Thank you. This is guys. Handcraft. All oh, this is handcrafted. I love this. This is handcrafted. Yes, it is. Really nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> Get you. <laughs> no, I, I didn't want to get in your way. Okay, that's alright. It looks like you're going to go post that. Yeah, I am. What? Oh, cute. Look at these. I like this. The little seashells? No, these are not seashells. Um, starfish. Um, grass. grass, grass that's just freshly cut. Okay, thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys next week in the next in the next video. Bye.